Hello, my name is Ned Bradley. I'm the Unison National Officer responsible for our membership inside NHS Blood and Transplant. I'm talking to you today as the chair of the trade union side representing all the unions inside NHS BT. The reason why we are talking to you is that it came to light about a year ago that NHS BT had not been properly paying people when they were on holiday. What uh, happened was that a group of our members a couple of years ago in Newcastle started to query their pay slips and saying that they didn't think they had been properly paid when they went on holiday. Where this has arisen is that uh, under the European Union Working Time Directive, when workers go on holiday, they are required by law to receive the same average pay as if they're at work. So for example, if you work on social hours, you work weekends, and you get extra pay because of that, your holiday pay should reflect that uh, pay when you go away. Inside the NHS in 2010, a national agreement was reached that said that what you should receive is your average pay for the previous 12 weeks. So 12 weeks before you go on holiday is calculated as a reference period and you get that on holiday. What's come to light is, and the reason why I'm talking to you today, is that NHSBT unfortunately made a mistake in the way in which they implemented this and not everybody received their correct payments. You are one of those that hasn't been correctly paid. The amounts vary and the people vary around the country. So there are teams that have not received proper pay going back three or four years. There are other teams that have received the correct payment. But everyone now from the last pay year, so from April 2015, is now being correctly paid. So this is for a time before 2015, going back to 2000. Um, alongside this video clip is a document, a proposal that NHSBT have produced that sets out how this mistake was made and how they propose to rectify it. So they've come up with some uh, proposals to pay everybody affected some back pay reflecting the loss that they have suffered. So as an individual, if you accept the proposal which NHSBT have explained in the document, then you will receive back pay. Each of you will receive back pay of varying amounts depending upon, obviously, the amount of unsocial hours that you were working, the amount of uh, overtime or weekends that you were regularly working that's part of your normal day-to-day -day shift pattern. Um, what we're recommending as a trade union side is that we believe the proposal from management is a very reasonable one and that you should accept it, but we're asking for your support before we do accept it. So we're running a ballot. It's a very short time scale, just a matter of two weeks uh, for you to have a think about this and respond. It's two weeks because if we can let NHSBT management know by the end of October that we accept the proposal, then they can get systems in place to make sure that everyone receives the back pay they're entitled to and they get it in their December pay before Christmas. So as a trade union and as trade unions party to the discussions that have been going on now for quite a few months with the national HR and finance managers involved, we would like to propose that you vote yes in the ballot that we're currently running and that uh, we can ask NHSBT to implement the back pay to all the people affected. Thank you very much for listening.